Another big name to the long list of companies laying off employees. This time we're talking about Tesla. Tesla's cutting more than 10,000 jobs. Let's bring in our business and tech reporter, Scott Budman, who's outside the Tesla factory in Fremont. Scott, what do you know? Well, good evening, Jessica and Raj. You know, only over the last couple of months, Tesla has already seen fewer car deliveries than expected. They've seen a declining stock price, and they've brought in complaints about their upcoming cyber truck. Just today, the company announced a 10% reduction in its workforce. A 10% cut in Tesla's workforce means about 14,000 employees. In a memo, CEO Elon Musk says the move is necessary to prepare the company for its next wave of growth. But some Tesla owners blame Musk and his tweets for driving customers away. How toxic Elon has become to its core customer demographic and to have a CEO who's, you know, openly expresses white supremacist views on a daily basis. It's really hard to sell anything in that environment. Ross Gerber invests in and drives a Tesla, but he says he hears from frustrated would-be owners regularly, especially those waiting for the company's new Cybertruck. Tesla's taken tons of money from people for Cybertrucks that they bought, like that should be delivered, that are just not being delivered. Meanwhile, layoffs across the tech industry are piling up, now topping 70,000 so far this year. Biotech giant Abbott Labs says it will cut 195 jobs and soon close its Fairfield location. There's a new craze. It's the efficiency craze. Joint venture Silicon Valley CEO Russell Hancock points out not everyone is cutting. Many are still hiring, but focusing both on AI and pleasing investors. Now they're running really uh, lean operations. They're finding that that helps their bottom line. It helps their profitability. It certainly makes their investors uh, happy. But actually, that didn't happen here at Tesla today. The layoff news was met by a declining stock price, a sell-off of about 5.5%. Live in Fremont, Scott Budman, NBC, Bay Area News.